productivity. It's like this elusive mythical creature that you always chase after. I mean, it's not easy to get there when it almost feels like the entire world and the internet is designed to make you lose focus and procrastinate. I've gone through many different solutions and methods and today I wanted to share with you guys five apps that helped me change my life when it came to productivity. So I always want to make a video on some of these apps because they've had a profound impact on my life and how I do things and my workflow. Uh, a couple things that I need is like a good calendar app. I need a good email client. I need a good place to take notes, a solid to-do list app, and of course, things that make my life a little bit easier. And quickly before we get started, these are tools that work for me. So they may not necessarily work for you or somebody else out there. Everybody's different. If you already have a process and a workflow that works for you, then that's the goal. You're already set. But if you don't, then hopefully some of these can help. Now, another big thing and I kind of want to bring this theme up now before we get right into these is that I'm all about simplicity. For example, some of these to-do list apps, they have so many different options that you can do, uh, like, you know, set deadlines and flags and color code them. And to be quite honest, all of that stuff just confuses me because I'm like, man, shouldn't I be doing all of these things? So what was supposed to be a quick five second task input in my phone has now turned into like this existential crisis where I'm trying to figure out how exactly I should, you know, be organizing my notes and my to-do list and you know I'm going down this rabbit hole and I've spent a lot more time than I really need to as long as it is simple and it gets the job done I'm there for it the first app that I want to talk about is my note-taking app and it is Apple notes no surprise here but like I don't know how I ended up on this because I've used Evernote I've used OneNote I've used a whole bunch of different options but I always keep coming back to Apple notes I guess just because of the integration and simplicity now I use Apple notes for everything including jotting down YouTube ideas YouTube scripts uh, you know my business ideas or even just things that are on my mind and uh, stuff that I just want to get down on paper things that I'm feeling so Apple notes is like a gateway to my soul now what I've done in Apple notes here is I've set up several different folders, right? Uh, so I have like my YouTube main channel folder where I put all my YouTube ideas, my checklists and everything like that. Then I have my second channel, uh, which is the YouTube finance channel. I have that here. So I have some of my ideas and stuff here. Some of my business ideas, which I like jotting down here separately. So anytime I want to reference to something that I can do so very easily. Now I have some clients that I do work for on YouTube. It's so my podcast folder here. And then of course my personal list here, I have like all sorts of like things like my motivation my, uh, you know, things that I want to do. And then of course my social posts. So if there's ideas that I have for like TikTok or for Instagram or for Twitter or anything like that, it'll go here. And then my consulting folder, this is where I have my ongoing uh, clients where I consult. Now keep in mind everything, as soon as I'm done a consulting engagement, or as soon as I'm done a video, or as soon as I'm done implementing something, then it moves from here into this next folder here called archived. And then of course my recently deleted, which are, if I don't, need it archived and they were just like one time notes, then I just delete them right away. So that is pretty much how I use Apple notes. Now, keep in mind, if you want this to work, you have to build that infrastructure and that file system, right? So for example, for me, I separated it out into all the different, you know, uh, things that I use my Apple notes for. And that way I can slot in based on what note I'm taking. So you're going to have to build that separately. Otherwise you're just going to have all your notes in like one folder and that can get pretty messy. Next up is my to-do list app. And that is called to do. I'll have all of them linked in the description down below, but I've been through a lot of to-do list apps. Like I think I started off in like Google Keep. I went to Apple Notes. I went to Evernote. I went to Things 3. I went to Todoist. Like I, I've tried a whole bunch of different solutions. And finally, the one that I settled on personally is To-Do. First and foremost, the thing that I love about this is the layout. I love how it is. It shows you the entire week. It gives you this weekly view. And then you have all your to-do lists for that week uh, right out in front of you. I can see what's been done yesterday. I can see what's to do today and I can see what's coming up later on in the week. Now this actually addressed like a big anxiety issue I had. For example, like whenever I, I would use to do list apps, like I would put down a whole bunch of things that I wanted to do. And then when I would move them to like different days, then I would get like this, like anxiety. Cause it was like out of sight, out of mind. And I would be like, Oh man, what if I forget about this particular task that I need to do? So that was something that really bothered me. And then when I started using to do and I could kind of just move things around to different days and I could still see that, okay, I am like these tasks that came to my mind right now are scheduled for later on in the week. I haven't forgotten about them. I could see them and glance at them. 
that made me very happy. Another thing I like about having this weekly view is that when I know that I have the rest of the week to get things done, I'm more inclined to spread things out rather than overload like one single day. When I used to use apps where I just see one list of to-do items, uh, it was counterproductive because I would just front load everything to today and then I would be like, if I can't get it done today, then sure, I'll move it to the next day. This way I can plan out my week so much better. To do has a section at the bottom, which I am so glad they do because it's not just like a weekly planner view. You can also have like a list of items at the bottom. I can just start those lists right down there and have them in front of me as well whenever I need to. So all in all, this is one of my favorite apps to use. I use this every single day without fail. Um, highly recommend to do. I'll have it linked down below. Check it out if you're interested. All right, next up is my calendar. The app that I'm gonna talk about right now is the app that I actually use to plan out my day and my week and my month, and that is Google Calendar. And it just works really well, so I just like keeping it simple and just using Google Calendars on my computer. I use it to keep track of my schedule every single day. It's synced across my iCloud and multiple calendar apps that I use and I also use it to schedule my events, projects, meetings, podcasts, deadlines, and plan personal and life events even. I like using Google Calendar because it's easily accessible. There's a whole bunch of different customization options that I can do if I need to. Uh, I can select which calendars I wanna see and customize the view to my liking. And again, this goes back to the infrastructure, right? You gotta build that infrastructure and those calendars uh, have that color-coded separation like I have here. Now in my calendar, I actually like to keep it as clean as possible. I like to keep it empty. Uh, I don't put in a lot of details. So most of my uh, items that are like things that I need to do, I have them on my to-do list. And then on the calendar, I actually have like hard deadlines and things that appointments or meetings that I have. So I try to keep this as clean as possible. That's why you don't see a lot of items on here. Now, another pro tip when you're using Google calendars, don't forget to use the shortcuts. If I press M, it takes me to month view. If I press W, it takes me to the view, uh, weekly view. If I press D, it takes me to the view for the day. Next up is an app called Calendly. This thing has saved me a lot of time and headache. Uh, basically, what you can do in Calendly is you set up your, like you link your calendar to Calendly and then you set up your available times where you're open to meet and then they can go right in and schedule a meeting with you based on what your open times are and uh, what your availability is. Super helpful app has saved me a ton of time. So I've been using this for so many different applications, including, uh, you know, brands, clients, companies, or even just friends and family. Sometimes you just need to schedule it into your calendar and their calendar so that you can actually have a chit chat. Honestly, it also just takes out the need for somebody to message you or call you and be like, hey, are you available on this time? You know, sometimes you send back, back and forth like five emails just trying to figure out availability. You can just take out all of those five emails, the middleman, take them out, send them a link and they can see your availability and they know their availability and they can just book something in uh, and Bob's your uncle. All right, and the last app that I wanna talk about today is my email client of choice and I've mentioned this in several of my videos and that is Spark Email. Now, one of my biggest gripes with Apple Mail is the fact that there's no smart categorization uh, and I've used several different email clients as well and the categorization just wasn't up to what I wanted it to do. With Spark Email, the categorization is on point. It separates all my emails out into personal where all the important emails and stuff like that show up for me, such as brands and client emails, uh, notifications where all my receipts, alerts, shipping notifications and stuff like that show up, newsletters where all the company newsletters kind of just get dumped into and I never like read them ever. And then I have my pins, which are emails that I've flagged and seen, which are emails that I've already seen. Now, the cool thing is sometimes you just want to see your email in order of received and you can do that easily at like a switch there's like a switch up top where it says smart and then classic and you can just switch to classic view and then that'll just give you the whole apple mail view where you can see all your emails during the day or you can switch it to smart which is what i like keeping it at uh for the most part now, the problem with this is sometimes i only look at the email that comes up to my personal uh categorization because those are like my most important emails and all the other emails and notifications and uh, newsletters and stuff like that, they just get left unread and that kind of sucks because it piles up in my inbox and then I have to go in and declutter it, which I have clearly not done as you can see. But all in all, days where I can't really go through all my different emails, having that categorization and for me to quickly glance at personal to see if I haven't missed any important emails is super key. You also have some other cool perks such as uh, you can snooze emails. You can just quickly just 
just swipe uh, and select snooze and bam, like you can snooze that email to, it'll give you several different options and you can customize those options as well. It also has a built-in calendar. So sometimes if you wanna reference your calendar while you're sending emails out on your computer. And last but not least, it has tons of different customization options such as swipe options, color settings, and things like that that you can play with. But yeah, all in all, that's my video for today. This is a very different video. I mean, I didn't really do any shenanigans in this video, but it was straight to business. I kind of wanted to just share all my pers uh, like my productivity apps with you guys. Uh, and hopefully this stuff helps you guys out as much as it has helped me out in staying on top of things and not messing up. But in any case, if you like this video, found it beneficial, please go ahead and like the video, share it with your friends and family if you think it'll benefit them and subscribe to the channel if you're interested in tech content, productivity content. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, stay blessed, peace.